All right, hello everybody, this is Sunland Dragon back for another Minecraft video, and this episode, um, we are back in our creative, uh, monster mod pack, FTB monster mod pack, uh, series, and, uh, today, we are looking at power. So, and, uh, specifically power conversion and power teleportation and stuff. So, um, yeah, so we're going to look at some power conversion. So what I have here is some nuclear reactors. Um, so I've got one here. Oh, uh, this one's actually not turned on. Just a second. Let me turn these on real quick. Let me get these set up. Okay. So what I got here is, um, four nuclear reactors actually. So this is pretty sweet. Um, uh, in other videos, I have, uh, this, sort of this, um, this, I, I show you guys how to do this. Um, these are, uh, thermal monitors, and then I have them set up so that it powers the block, and then, um, so it, it either turns on or off the redstone torch. So basically, I'll just review this really quickly. So, thermal monitor, um, activates when this heats up too much. Um, when this when this gets to 5,000 heat, it'll activate this thing, activating it'll activate this redstone, activating this block, turning this off. So basically, when this heats up too much to prevent it from exploding, it um, thermal monitor turns it off basically. So I've got that set up for all four of these. These are um, taking their power into this MFSU, and this is just connected directly. This one is just directly connected to the MFSU. And then I have the MS MFSU going into an MFE in order to um, do this stuff here. Okay, so there's some awesome stuff we got, got going here. So this is pretty awesome. Um, so these create EU. These are part of Industrial Craft, so they create EU. So uh, and, and these are nuclear reactors, so it's a pretty good way to create power, I think. <laughs> Um, so basically, yeah, they, they make EU. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty convenient. Um, cause they're really powerful. So, um, then all of this EU, um, goes into this MFSU. This is like huge storage of, what is that? Um, four, 40, 40 million EU. So that's pretty crazy amount of power. Um, and then, so all of, all four of the, um, the reactors feed into this MFSU. Okay, so this EUHV consumer, you see there, so max EU in is 512. So that's why I had to take the MFSU and um, put it into an MFE. Because MFE, as you can see, output is 512. Output to 512. Output is 512. But then this one is the MFSU output is 2048. So yeah, I had to like put that all the way down. So 512 there. So then that allows me to, um, uh, so, uh, 512 is, I guess, high voltage, I guess, according to this, even though you can go all the way up to, to 2048. So, um, so max EU input is 512. So that's this one right here, EU HV consumer. Uh, so that's, uh, EU is the power type and then HV is high voltage. So, yeah. Um, so this... So I forgot one piece to this. So this is the EU, you need the you need the EU consumer. So since this is EU, you need to get the EU consumer. This will consume the EU and then you put an energy bridge. You always have to put an energy bridge in between the two. Um but in this case, you just need since an energy bridge can consume EU, which is what this is this this has in it. So an energy bridge can consume EU. Which is why you don't need um, a consumer um, to to connect it to an RF producer. So this one is um, transfer uh, creating RF, and this one is creating MJ, and then obviously this is EU.